Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,443rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Good evening, traders. This video coming to you on a Tuesday night for trading, Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. Traders, let me just say before we get into anything on the board, futures trading has gotten extremely risky in the last few weeks. <laughs> causes substantial financial losses, causes divorces, causes people to lose their houses. On the flip side, a lot of people make money in this game too, but you need to know the risks behind it. Never trade unless you can afford it. Always put your stops in first. This animal is not suited for everybody. But if you do know how to play, you do know that a stop is your best friend, let's get into what's going on. <sighs> Traders for trading on the 9th. Gunfight at the Otapma Corral is the name of this video. It's the theme behind this video. What is Otapma? It is the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. Real slick on my part there, huh? <laughs> anyway, OTAP, I couldn't think of anything else. I called it OTAP. It works, right? OTAPMA is an average that works really well when used in conjunction with other markets and other pieces of the Omni, but it's a pretty, pretty cool average, and I want to show it to you because what's going on right now is you've got what I like to call a gunfight at the Otapa Corral taking place in your indices markets, in many markets in fact, but we're going to concentrate on the indices for this video. Omni has started the day off, or I should say tonight into tomorrow, being the ninth would be tomorrow, ES Nasdaq Russell, Omni wants to start off selling the rallies. Whoa, we haven't seen one of those in a while. Omni wants to sell the rallies in the E-mini S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, the usual suspects. And interestingly enough, which is separate from the Omni itself, Otapa happens to be right here, right now. And it's very interesting. So, gunfight at the Otapa Corral. Come see me at LiveWithOscar.com. With no further ado, let's go look at some gunfight charts. Traders, gunfight at the Otapma Corral. What does it mean? Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. The market has gotten under the average. Your E-mini S&P daily has now gotten below the average and settled here. It also has fallen out of one of my infamous F flags. The F flag, an Oscarism known as the F flag. We're below the F flag now. We've fallen out of it. And we're starting to have a little trouble at Otapma. So that's your E-mini S&P on the daily. Look at this, though, because it's going to get interesting. E-mini S&P, the exact same chart. I'm going to make OTAP a little dull here and show you the 200 ball moving average, the fund manager special. Look what happened. We hit it right here and fell down and then fell down below the F flag, which is where we are now, and below OTAPMA. Things are getting a little bit rough here. Can we go higher? Yes. Should I be selling? Omni's pointing down. This is here. This is here. You're outside of the F flag. We've got technical reasons to be looking for the downside. At least for one day, we'll see where that goes. Then, traders, it really starts to get pretty. Here's your Dow Jones daily bar. Otapma once again. Now, we're here. Is this some sort of a flag? You know, yes, absolutely. Are we under it right now? Yes, we are. So, interesting there. If you connect the dots across here, we're just about falling out of this trend as well right now. So, it's iffy right here. We're going to start the day off selling. It doesn't mean we'll continue all day long. We'll see how it acts. But we're starting off the day selling up against Otapa. Then you've got the Russell 2000, and that is where it truly gets interesting. The Russell 2000, look at the way it broke down from the Russell. Well, bam, it's all the way down here from Otapa. Russell just started to fall apart. Then there's this. Watch, it gets even better. Crude oil. Traders, lately, how goes crude oil? How goes the E-mini S&P? Now, I expect that decoupling to continue to take place. Crude oil is decoupling from the stock market, but while it still is coupled, 
your crude oil started to have trouble right at myotama. Isn't that interesting? How goes crude lately? How goes the market? And then you've got gold of all things. Look at the gold traders. We had that pennant flag. We broke out above the pennant flag. Brilliant call in the gold that whole time. Now we're above the pennant flag and look at this. It started to build what I like to call an F flag, but it failed right away and it's down here. So gold is getting a little wishy-washy. Watch your gold for tomorrow. We'll play that by ear. Downward expectations at the beginning of trading for S&P, NASDAQ, the usual suspects. I'll see you all at LiveWithOscar.com. So, traders, you've seen the charts. I think that gunfight at the Otapa Corral speaks for itself, and the charts speak for themselves. We will start off with the Red Omni. The way the volatility has been so grand lately, there is no counting me, or holding me accountable, I should say, for sticking with the Red Omni all day. But we're going to start off selling big rallies and see if the market wants to come down a little bit. If it gets above Otapa, that's another fantastic hurdle that we're above that we stay above and the markets look rosier if that happens. But we do have that massive head and shoulders I've been showing you with the massive flag and the right shoulder. And I haven't forgotten about that. And I am the guy that called the top of the stock market in 2007, the bottom in 2009. I called the top in gold. I've recently called the bottom in gold. I called the top in crude at 103. What the hell else do you want for proof? Nobody can do that except for me. And I've done it for you. And I am telling you that we have this massive bearish formation. I am not telling you the market has to go down. I read charts. I'm the chart whisperer. But it is there. While it's there, just keep it in the back of your minds. We'll do the day trading. We've been buying and buying and buying almost every day. We're switching to selling today. But we do know that that bigger formation does loom. Keep it in mind. Maybe that's why we're starting to fail or at least have trouble at the Otapa. So there's a lot that could be connecting here. Don't hold yourselves or me to anything. Start off with a red arrow and play this sucker the way it goes. But we're starting off that way. I'll see you at LiveWithOscar.com. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help keep those emotions at bay, which is not easy in this crazy environment, is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll live with Oscar.com. I'll see you there. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.